began looking at enterprises that had fallen in contrast to others in the same circumstances that did not fall. It turns out that these stages are largely self-inflicted. Unlike a disease, organizational decline is more what you do to yourselves than on what happens to you. Greatest leaders in our studies, their signature was their humility. Wherever you turn, you open a paper, you look at the news, there is this sense of hopelessness. People hoping there's got to be something more, let alone the big global issues. I want to stir you up today. Say, stir up that passion. We don't need to fear the world. We don't need to fear the darkness, the hope on the inside of us. Jesus, this hope we have as an anchor for our soul, both firm and secure, that hope compels us to go into the darkness. You know, I have a, a little four-year-old who's obsessed with flashlights. I took her to Walmart and I bought her a flashlight. And I'll never forget this, as I'm paying, she yells out to me and she said, Mommy, can we please go and find some darkness? She understands what the purpose of light is for. It's not to be scared of the war and the famine and the poverty and the injustice and the big global issues. It's saying, no, 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 I don't want you to run away from that. I don't want you to fear this world. I want you to take the light that I've put on the inside of you and I want you to go and penetrate that darkness and illuminate that darkness with the life and the hope of Jesus Christ. That's the job of the church.